What's this? Pokemon? I don't really have an explanation for this, to be honest. I just kind of wanted to play something. So we're playing not just Pokemon Leaf Green. You'll probably notice very quickly that it's a uh, slightly different game. If the title or whatever I've done in the future uh, does give it away. Yeah, I don't know. I just kind of felt like playing a game Pokemon game or something. I will always be a girl. And I really didn't think about a name either. Probably should have thought of one. Let's go with a classic. Okay. Alright. I'm Judy, I guess. Don't know why. I, uh, I played... Pokemon Crystal when I was younger, and then I picked that name. And I don't know why. I, I picked the girl as well. And they were Judy. Anyway, so this person can be freaking... I don't know. God damn it. I, I really don't know. Just call him ass. I just don't like this guy. We'll, 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 we'll at least get the lowercase though. Alright. Pain my ass at least. Alright. So, a very, very basic rundown. This game is Game Boy Advance game remake of the original Game Boy game of Pokemon. The very first Pokemon that ever came out. Pokemon Fire Red and Pokemon Leaf Green are. They're. Red and blue, even though I think there was a green. And it, I'm, I'm just getting on a tangent. There's no reason to talk about it, other versions and stuff. The point is, I used to play these games when I was younger. And I always did like Kanto the most. This version of the game, like this uh, this region. Whether that be the first games. or I, I'm playing actually this version of the game, Leaf Green, because it was... I basically found a copy of this in the parking lot once. And I didn't have an actual Game Boy Advance to play with at all, so I just kind of held on to a copy of Leaf Green for like a year. And I played it eventually. But, uh... My point is, I have a history with this kind of game. And I'm used to playing the, uh, the old version a lot. I haven't really played too much of this version, to be honest, because I played it when I was a kid, and that was, like, you know, when I was able to, after I got a Game Boy Advance, and I kind of stopped playing it after I got the DS. So, I mean, I know the DS could actually... You could port your Pokemon over with the, I don't know, connection to the bottom port. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm just going to try to see if I can keep something instead of just dead air. That's my goal here. My my good lord and savior, Northern Lion. That's all I'm thinking about, of course. He just likes to ramble and talk forever. Am I even like, really paying attention to the game? So if you're looking for like a story-based uh, adventure, this is not it. Especially because here comes the fun part. Alright. So, wait. Are you serious? No way. What are you talking about? This is the worst... Okay. <sighs> this threw me off so much. Only because I picked a randomized run. So basically, this is all randomized Pokemon. That's the gimmick of this. So, the game's not even as intended anyway in the first place. You're normally supposed to get Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle here. But I actually did get Charmander as an option. Which really sucks, because I really want him. Like, ah, God, now what do I do? If you guys didn't know, my favorite Pokemon list, like... I like a lot of the flying Pokemon. I'm not sure why, really. Like, I don't know if Charizard is supposed to be like an honorary dragon type, even though it's not at all. It's a flying fire type. 
But I always did like Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard. I know everyone parents with the mainstream opinion to like those kind, but I don't care because even after the various generations came out, I still prefer Charmander, you know, to, to anything else. So this is always going to be my favorite Pokemon, probably. But if I had to pick other ones, I do like Zapdos, Legendary. I do like Aerodactyl. I'm not sure why. I think it was the combination of the types that those two have, because they don't usually have among flying types. They don't usually have, you know, I guess the other Legendary bird is Fire, Moltres, but... You know, electric flying is interesting. I do like the design of Zapdos. And I also like the design of uh, Aerodactyl. And I guess I like the design of, of uh, Char Charizard too, but I don't know. My, my friend, my companion has always been Charizard. So I, maybe it's maybe it's fate. Maybe I should just pick it. Maybe I should just uh, be happy with what, what I was given. All right. So if we're going to go like this real, real classic here. Uh, all right. I, I, I honestly did not expect to get a Charmander. Burn. It's actually a female, whatever. Cannot spell. Burnator. Let's see what we have here. So what's fun here is that he, he, the type Pokemon he has is actually a water and grass type, so I'm not really sure what's gonna happen in the end game. If I end up keeping Charmander, I wasn't planning on it. I was planning on ditching my starter, no matter what, but I guess I'm not doing that now, because I have Charmander. Um, oh, he's coughing, okay. I guess it's completely randomized. It's not even more, uh, I guess his options aren't my options. Hey, you know what? Nothing, I'm nothing against uh, him having a coughing. kind of suck. Uh, I should probably also mention a, another part of this, this challenge. Um, it's also a Nuzlocke run, and I know, I think it's kind of like a fad. What? What? No, it's terrible! No! Are you serious? Hold on a second. What ability do you have? Okay, I, I want to. I want to see. Do you seriously have Rain Dance, Drizzle? Isn't that terrible? For a Charmander to have this move. Char so my Charmander is making it rain automatically at the beginning of every fight forever. That's going to be kind of difficult. I, I also am not sure if it weakens fire moves, so it's probably objectively just terrible. But okay, I'm already being entertained by this. And he has static, okay. So I, I randomized, I'll tell you what I did. I randomized the Pokemon you can get. I randomized the abilities that they can get. I thought that might be pretty cool. But beyond that, they get the regular moves. You know, the, the, everything else is pretty normal in the game. If you have ever played a Pokemon game before, which I doubt you have, if uh, you are who I think you are. Because, yeah, I do expect, like, a person in particular to watch this. Obviously, you're listening, so you might be that person, but I bet you're probably, probably not, to be honest. Anyway, uh, I lost my first fight <laughs> against the coffin. Well, this ass surely uh, has made a fool of me. And. So if you guys remember what I just said, I said this is a Nuzlocke run. So that means I actually have to start over. <laughs> I've already lost. I'm out of Pokemon. So, uh, so give me a second here. I think what I want to do, I'm actually going to reset the same seed and just pick something else that's not, that's not Charmander. That, that'll, be, that'll be fair, I think. Unless they'll cough me again. Like, I don't know. I just, the only reason why I don't feel like randomizing again is I just, I, I just had to go through a whole... Uh, I'll skip this one. I don't really want to use the speed up key at all, but I mean, I literally just failed the run. And now, by the way, I just failed the run again because I picked a boy. Wow, that's twice. I failed two runs in a row. I should probably scrap this and start over. But I don't know. I think I'm, I'm, I'm laughing at myself too much to, to nix this. All right, girl. I'm definitely a girl. If you can hear it in my voice. Okay, Judy. As fast as possible. We're speed running this. I did not think that I would lose the rival fight. I was kind of mindlessly attacking them because I always kind of do that. I've always, as a kid, just hit the attack button. I'm like, why would I ever want to, my first fight, mess with stat changes? Alright, so this guy is going to be, I guess, trying to make him a little, little different. Ass. 
Uh, is there any symbols? No, there's a symbol. Okay. Um, I guess I could just give him an exclamation point. That works. Alright. My point was I usually just attack the very first fight no matter what because I feel like the first fight you just want to get the damage out instead of worrying about messing with stat changes in the very beginning of the game. I just kind of wail on the trainer, you know, the opponent until he dies and, you know, hope, hope to move a life on from there. <sighs> but it failed this time. I guess, I'm not sure, really sure what happened. I guess I just got a critical hit on me that was kind of random. I'm going to try to avoid speeding stuff up if I can. I'm just going to try to click through stuff. I know I've already sped through things and stuff and yada yada and I've already failed two runs since I... The first time I died, the second time I picked a boy, which, you know, uh, GG. Not doing that. Alright. So. <sighs> We're back. We're back in the very first room of the game. Okay, so I'm assuming they're the same. So I'm not going to pick the first one. I'm going to pick the one hit he picked. So he picked, he picked, um, actually, this one is Charmander, technically, as the text says. I'll, I'll pick... This Lotad, or whatever it's called. Yeah, Lotad. Only because it's what he picked last time. Alright, I don't know, man. I, I, I really have no idea what to name these people. I am trying to refrain from using content creators I like, or people I know in real life. The only thing I've really stuck with is my classic name of Judy, who I play in every game pretty much almost almost every game some of the generations I did change it up for example I uh, had one run where I you know I do love Charmander a lot I actually uh, sent over a bunch of level one dragon Pokemon to my Pokemon Pearl save file and uh, I named my character Lancine and I had a bunch of dragon Pokemon and one of them again honorary was Charmander into uh Charizard. I didn't realize though that it, I gave it Dragon Rage when I made it into an egg and baby form. So I just kind of beat the game easily because I had a 40 power move off the start or, you know, like guaranteed 40 damage. So he just kind of had to kill everything. <sighs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know. We're just going to go with random names that I pull out of my head. So this person's going to be named Joan. Don't know why. I don't care. I might even add an E just for Joan. Joan. Joanie. No, we're, we're with this. I'm just gonna go with whatever name comes to me in the moment. Hey, buddy. I keep. I keep. I keep instinctually hitting the speed up key, and I actually hate the sound of the of the music when it's sped up. So I'm, I'm gonna try not to do that. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to do that. I'm also not gonna save state or anything. If I if my Pokemon faints, they they are gone forever. So I'm not gonna save before fights. I'm not gonna save before anything. I'm just gonna play the game honorably, you know. I also considered not, cause here's the thing. I thought this would be a walk in the park. So I uh, I was thinking about not. Oh God. Am I dead again? Dude, this is not fair. What are these matchups I'm getting? I think I just lost again. Okay. I guess because I woke up on turn one, I'm okay. Oh, okay. I don't know what that means. He changed to the ghost type. But the ghost is still good against ghost, I guess. This game continues to confuse me. I don't know everything about it, and it looks like they actually did add a bunch of the, uh, like, newer Pokemon to this game. I didn't realize that at first, because in the very first game, there only is the original 150-some Pokemon. <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, apparently, we luck was on our side this time. We, we won, just because we pushed the, the attack button. Also, what? You can get two level-ups off of that? Must have pushed a button or something. I don't know. Technician ass. Nice. It's a good name. He's a technician. Okay, finally. Let's just get out of this area. So for now, I guess I, guess I will just keep my starter. Just for fun. I guess. I don't know. 
I'm, I'm so lost. What, what do you want? Okay. Alright, I'll, I'll give you a save. Here we go. She asked me to pull up the menu, so I'll save. It's been five minutes since you guys can check the in-game time. No, it's, been, it's probably been like, like 20 minutes by now. Anyway, I thought this was going to be pretty easy because I'm used to playing this game, but not getting this one in particular. Okay, hello Lapras. You're going to get a lot of this, by the way. A lot of random Pokemon. Um, okay, so I, I, I got to set the rules here. My rules are... But, you know, everything's random. I don't really care, like, about what I get. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the challenge of having to use newer Pokemon I don't usually get to use very much. Like, for example, Lapras. I don't usually use Lapras, and I would catch this one if I had Pokeballs. I don't. Oh, I keep sending this beat up key. It's, very, it's, a, it's, a, it's a habit of mine. Uh, I would catch this, but I don't think I have any Pokeballs yet. So, the way that would work for me is that once my Pokemon faints, yeah, I can't ever use it again, and usually I usually I release it, but I might want to keep like a graveyard just so we just know who we had along the line. I actually did leave space on the right side of my screen in case I ever wanted to add like a, some kind of detail if I wanted to make you know, my party of who I have, or, you know, people that have, have passed. Uh, I have no idea. I'm not sure. I, I'm leaving a free form open to anything. <laughs> who knows what's going to happen. But, um, once my Pokemon does faint, they're gone for good. And I can't I can't even use their same type of Pokemon. So, like, not type, I'm sorry. The same species of Pokemon. So, for example, were I to catch that Lapras, okay, what is with the experience? Is it because the Lapras is, is uh, and Drowsy just give more experience? I don't know. But, as I'm trying to finish my thought, if I lose this Lotad, then I can't ever use a Lotad again. Or its evolutions or anything. I just, I lost my Lotad, is basically how, the way I'm seeing it. I'm not going to add really anything else. I was going to think about maybe not going to shops at all because I'm like, oh, that could be fun. I will add a challenge. But I'm like, I died already in the first fight. So maybe it's not as easy as you think it is. And actually, I, while I'm at it, I should probably check to, to see what, um, what, what kind of... Uh, what do you call it? Ability. Overgrow. Okay, so it is a grass type uh, ability. That's good. Charmander with Drizzle threw me for a loop. Like that, honestly, I was I was gonna not be frazzled by this game until I saw Charmander with Drizzle. Because in my mental picture of it is just like, you know, that one cartoon, like, you know, a Pokemon where it's raining outside and Charmander's flames about to go out and stuff and then like Ash to save him. I don't know. Apparently, Charmander's flame on his tail. If you guys didn't know, he's a flame on his tail. It's a fire lizard, Charmander. Um, they say if his fire on his tail goes out, then he dies. But I think that we've, like, or it's game theory or something debunked that. That, like, no, it, it would not die. If it's tail went out, I mean, it, it would probably not be desirable, but I don't, I don't think it would actually literally murder the animal. Right, we're just going to heal up. I don't know why. I thought I checked the option for faster text, and I don't, I don't know why it's not going very fast. I'm going to go in the options menu real quick and fix that, I guess, if I can. Okay. Yeah, it's on. I also do like uh, putting things on set, by the way. Like, I don't really like it. I, I do it for a challenge. Like, I'm the kind of person who back in their their old days would, oh, wow, oh, they're, they're changing their Pokemon to a, to a fire type. Oh, I'm going to pull up my water type. Oh, I, that, that was really clever. Yeah, nice one. Nice one past self. Very clever. There's no challenge in that. So I'm just going to hopefully be like, all right, well, whatever I have out there is out there. And then, uh, you know, hopefully it wins. I can still change out my Pokemon, just that it basically always prompts you every time someone's sending out something to like, it tells you 
Hey, by the way, guys, if you want a little advantage, a little tip, uh, he's sending out a, a Gyarados next turn. I'm like, no, just, just, just give it to me. Just, just hit me with the Gyarados, and then I'll deal with it myself. Yes, I'm, I'm, wait, do you literally say nothing? Okay. Is that glitchy text, or is it just skipping it? I, I, I don't know. Maybe I messed with the files too much, I don't know. By the way, I, not like I'm hacking or anything, I literally just pushed options. Is that what fast text meant, maybe? Right? I don't, I don't know. That was just weird that I didn't know how text all this. If you guys don't know the story of this game, I mean, you just usually, for some reason, have to go to that Pokemon Center or Pokemon Mart and then grab something that I guess Professor Oak ordered. And they're like, hey, you're f you know Professor Oak, right? Can you give this to him? I don't know. So I gave it to him. I can't even read it. Okay, I don't understand why my text boxes are, are blank now. Is it because I, I think I might have messed it up when I made it, yeah, I definitely messed it up when I made it mid and so fast or something, I don't know. How do people like stay on track? Like how, I can't listen to myself and play at the same time. I can, but like, I feel like I keep losing myself. Alright, so I want to go back to this, just maybe the option back to medium and see if that takes, or if it's fine. There we go. Alright, are you, are you okay? Are you normal? Yeah, you look, you look normal to me. Okay. Yeah, I still have lots to do. Yeah, good advice. Alright, so... Don't you give me, like, Pokeballs? No? Okay, whatever. Alright, I'm just gonna leave. Goodbye. I do want to see what I can catch. Lapras is cool, but I don't, I don't know. Like I can, I'll use it if I have to because, like I said, once I use a Pokemon and it dies, I can't ever use it again. So I might have to use it at some point, but I don't know. For now, I guess I'll just use June. Wow. Like, Lapras must have some strong defense. Oh, that's something that I think I changed. I think I changed the stats of Pokemon. So maybe it has high defense here. Like, I'm level 9, super effective hitting it, and it's not doing any damage at all. Is that was who? Like, it couldn't even one shot there. Like, how bad does Jones suck? Let's actually just check. No, 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 no. Alright, what, what do you got? I don't, I, by the way, I have no idea what this, the stats usually are. I'm just gonna, like, use relativity. Okay, so it's best stat is defense, and it, I guess special attack is what I'm looking for here. <sighs> it is very late, by the way, for me. So, just in case you're wondering, it's on yawning. I had a very long and hard day today. It was very grueling. I got up at 11 a.m. because I slept in till 11 a.m. and I woke. I was not rudely awakened, but I was unable to go back to, the, to sleep after my my bathroom urges. Anyway, not going there. We're going to the, the joke that I 11, 11 a.m. is not early to get up. I'm I'm a wimp, and I even getting up at that time is early for me. Anyway, by the way, all I did was uh, just play Minecraft until 2 a.m., which is right now. So, there you go. <laughs> That's my day. My day is I played Minecraft all day, and I'm like, you know what? I don't know, man. My, my life's a waste. I'm gonna make something, even if it's a crappy whatever this is. Let's play, sort of. I mean, it's more of like a let's try. I'm gonna try. I wonder what's in this route, though. Also, I definitely should have bought more than five Pokeballs. I'm just playing on so autopilot. I, I've never done this before. I never, like, really talked this much. I'm so very, very upset and worried about not having words to say. Come on, bro. I'm not gonna catch us do that. I'm not even gonna fight. I can, I can probably sound shit. No, it doesn't look much. Oh, what the? You, no. You have poison point. I mean, I guess. Okay, am I dead here? If this is level two, you bad kills me. Okay. 
Don't touch me. Okay? This is embarrassing. I actually, like, have to go to the Pokemon Center now because if I die of poison, the game's over once again. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Alright, let's see how much HP has left. Alright, okay, that's, that's ten more. We're okay. I always count those, by the way. Like, whenever I was, a, you know, younger and a kid, I used to play this game a lot more. I actually, like, was always nervous about... Yeah, in these games, like, where it's like, oh, Nuzlocke, if they die, they die. Like, I'm always extremely anxious about poison, actually. It's kind of funny, because of that. Like, oh, I'm poisoned, I gotta go back to the Pokemon Center. Okay, is there anything that's honestly bad here? Yeah, that's uh, that's how I do that. Okay, uh, I don't know what this Pokemon is really. Like I've seen it before. Is this still good against you? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, I didn't mean to really kill you with a critical, but I kind of want that Pokemon, whatever that is. I don't actually know every Pokemon in this game. Like that one, I don't recognize. It seems like they, did they have fourth to make one here too? Like other? Okay, I, I, whatever you are, I want you. So just come here. Another critical, huh? Okay, well I definitely don't want to hit it again because now it's weak to my move. So now I'm gonna just drink its life. Okay, now it's a grass type. Honestly, I almost don't want this Pokemon for the fact that every single turn, it's gonna say, it's this type. Oh, but I did get Pokeballs. I'm, I'm stupid. He did get me Pokeballs. It doesn't matter. And I have no idea what this cash rate is. Do you have Bite already? Like, jeez. Bite's a pretty strong move. All right, good. The Brava. I think this turns to a dragon Pokemon. Like, it's literally on about it. You look very strange when you are not. Like, you're all like pixelated like that. Okay, what am I gonna call you? You're a man. The Brava. Just because of the name Brava, I'm just gonna go. Two ends? I think it's two ends. We're gonna go Johnny here. Because Johnny for Bravo. You guys might not know what Johnny Bravo is an old cartoon. Also, I'm, I keep saying guys, there's literally gonna be no views in this video. I'm not sandbagging. I'm just correcting my, myself. I don't actually mean hello people of the world. If any if anything, it's hello person. Right. What am I doing here? Oh, I want to heal. This feels so slow because I'm so used to now being like, oh man, Pokemon games with speed up keys. So nice. But it makes the game sound so harsh. Like, I'll play here. Like, it's so bad. It's just not, you know, I, don't know. I feel like I, I don't want to hurt the music too much. So if I could slow down the speed up key, uh, I would. But it goes to like a thousand percent. So, all right. So I gotta see what you do. Yeah, you are a dragon. Okay. Well, I mean, it's sweet to have this Pokemon, but okay. So it is. I guess kind of weak? I don't know. It's attack and special attack are weak or lower than its defense and special defense. And it's not the it's not as fast as my other thing. This thing is a full loadout! I thought it had like a strong attack for being like this early. Like jeez. Um I mean again, these are like these are decent moves, you know? There's, there's, there's some coverage right there. Let's probably do that. No. Alright. 
And then actually, I'm trying to think. So this is. It's not. See the thing is, is yeah okay. So I'm not a professional at this game, but I do know a few things. This is a grass type move, therefore because I'm a grass type, it will get double damage I assume. But this will not because it's ghost type. So even though this says 20 and this is 30. This is actually 40 in a sense. Okay. All right. Very, very novice level stuff, but we're getting there. I'm not comparing myself to other people. I don't really care about other people. I'm just saying that uh, I, ha I have the basic knowledge. I'm just glad that I didn't have to, like, actually know how to be good at Pokemon when I was younger because they also didn't. They didn't know what they're doing back then. Well, I'm not sure they ever know what they're doing. Even, even now, with the newest Pokemon game coming out with this the uh, Shield and Sword, everyone's like controversy this, controversy that. I don't know stuff. Okay, so he's a bug type. Oh, I'm a bug type. Okay, so does that mean that I don't have? I, I, I already was a bug type, wasn't I? I'm so confused. Oh, there's a flying type. I don't know, man. Uh, the point was, back in the day, generations were different. Like, right now, they, they did split the special attack and stuff, and boring stuff crap you don't care about. But before, certain moves weren't necessarily physical versus special or something like that, so they would always be physical, for example. I would never have to... I never understand that, that, that crap. It also makes sense as to why I didn't really grasp the newer versions of Pokemon because they did change a lot of the mechanics. Like, not everything, but how certain moves work and type, type, I mean, there really aren't very many types in the first generations or games or anything, especially the very first one. It's like, mostly normal types. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm just trying different stuff. Okay, now that's pretty strong. I just don't know what, the best way of, of fighting it. It's probably just like literally which one does more damage, but normally I just like kind of just test and see how they fare against each Pokemon. I'm a very casual gamer, by the way. I'm just kind of concerned because, you know, I can't afford to lose this, this Pokemon. I really do want to train it to be my strongest one. If I don't find anything else here, I'll probably just fight the rival. I do know the story by heart. I know I know like what's gonna happen, but I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna find, like Pokemon wise. I think I might even changed items. So if I just find like a random item on the ground, it could be anything pretty much. So I don't know. We'll see. I have the ability to change a lot of things, but I left most of the stuff regular, like un unchanged. There actually was this uh, other version I was gonna play before this one. Like I just typed in like randomized leaf green and it gave me one like default. And it randomized everything, and I didn't like that because it, like literally randomized the type of the move and the, what the, like. I guess the move was what it said, but I, my very first run I had, had a Kabuto with Dynamic Punch. And I was like, what the hell? And the Dynamic Punch was a flying type. I'm like, this is too much for the process. So I was like, okay, I, I want like just pretty much normal gameplay with some spice. So they can get whatever like abilities they, they can, you know, whatever. I, I guess, I guess this guy doesn't normally get color changed, but because one of them gets it, they all can? I don't know. I thought I was like randomized per Pokemon, but I guess it's not like that. Sand Team sucks. Probably get to like level eight and then just fight the rival because I, I I'm worried about dying to him still. Like that's kind of still a problem. I don't know what he has. My Pokemon are that strong. I mean I think I can kill his. Do you have a Drowsy? But beyond that, I don't know. Let's get to that Lapras that's down here. 
Oh, yeah, I also don't catch duplicates Pokemon. The only like exception I ever allowed, like in my other Nuzlocke runs of like, can I catch more than one of one copy of something, was just strictly Pokemon that I never would use. Like they'd be level one, but they'd have like pickup abilities. So I just carry around five doggies that each can pick up or something like that, and then uh, you know we're good. I don't use them or anything. I just kind of just get items off of them. But I, I, I'm, not, I'm not doing that in this game. Also, I, I want to catch one of these, but I'm weird. I kind of feel like catching any old one is not justified. Always, as a, for the fifth time now, or seventh time, as I said uh, when I was a kid, I actually would see like a level 3 Pokemon and be like, I oh, you're trash. I wouldn't even catch you. I don't usually catch anything that's like below level 4. And then when I see level 5 Pokemon, I'm like, ah, there's a strong one. That's the one that's my one. Oh, come on. Put me to sleep and stuff. I forgot how much like slow this game is with animations on, too. But whatever. I like them. But yeah, when I play uh, off screen, I definitely just turn them off. I didn't really want to like have anything off screen for this because obviously with a Nuzlocke run, even just like training offline, I can just like lose a like a key party member, and I would rather not lose the footage of that. Like, I don't even care if I literally just die in this playthrough. I've already done it like once or twice, I guess. But uh, I don't know. I had some principles, I guess. But just can you kill this Lapras? It's level three. Thank you. No, it's it still isn't dead. You have one job, dude. I mean, that's an old meme at this point, but like, just, can you, can you... How much defense does the Lapras have? Because, like, it is only like a level one or a stage one evolution kind of thing. So it might just, like, have boosted stats because of that. If you don't wake up, you're gonna die. So, it's your choice. I'll, I'll let you die if you like. But dude, this Lapras is, like, playing like a pro. Putting me to sleep. Growling me. So I can't, so I maybe can't kill it. I mean, I probably wouldn't have growled right there, so I'm pretty sure he's only 1 HP, but still. I mean, he gave it a chance. Okay. Johnny. Good job not dying there, but what was that? Do I keep using Johnny? No, I'll, I'll catch a Lapras and then I'll... Come back. So basically my point was I'm looking for a level 5 Lapras. I probably won't find one here because this is a very low uh, like level area, but I will just catch what I can get. Because like look, I'll use Absorb. This is a this is weak this is the Lapras is weak to this. So it, yeah, like what defense does this guy have? I'm on level 10. It's level 3. I have stab and you're weak to me. And all the other rhymes. Yeah, this is like not gonna get in the ball, is it? I, I kinda was like hoping it would just get caught, but I'm like, I might not be able to catch a Lapras. I did not change that either. I could have. I could have lowered. Oh, man. Hey, it's, it's cooperating. I could have lowered the catch rates, or I guess technically. I'm not trying to confuse you people. I would have made it more likely for me to catch Pokemon, like, you know, easier. I could have done that. I chose not to, and it didn't really make it mattered here. But there's gonna be times when I just kind of find a Pokemon in the wild, and it'd be like a legendary, and I'll be like just unable to catch it because it just, you know, the catch rate's just so ridiculously impossible. Alright, Lapras, you're a boy. Um, what male name do I know that suits you? I don't know why. My my name fixates my name. My my mind fixates on names. For some reason, I was feeling like this is this is Ryder. Oh, what Ridey? Okay, fine, Ridey. I thought I was I was an even Ryder, but I guess he's Ridey now. All right, my bad. Now you got Ridey, he has a really stupid name. Also, I would love to catch a Farfetch, but my favorite YouTuber... You son of a... 
You know what? I might catch you now just because you have arena trap. You guys don't know arena trap means I can't run away. Also, I'm using astonish on a Pokemon that's normal type. That's uh, and is he gonna kill me? I was just saying, <laughs> super effective. I can't even run. I have to just I have to catch him to get out of this fight. Dude, this is so much ass right now. I mean, I, I my Vibrava is pretty hurt too. I can't run away. He's getting the ball. No, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna lose this fight. Like this is not fun. Um. I, mean, I guess he could probably take a hit. Oh my! I can't even switch. I thought I thought running away, but not switching. Okay, well I'm probably gonna lose Joan here then, guaranteed. There's nothing I can do. There's, there's nothing I can do. I guess I can just growl a couple times. Hopefully, like maybe I can low rates attack to one, and then just keep healing every turn. No, that's not gonna happen. It's not working that way. Okay, well Joan's lost right here. I'm gonna just throw a ball at it and hope that I can save him. But yeah, G goodbye, Joan. You tried. You never expected the far fetch of the arena trap to come out, uh, come your way. Almost had him. You know, I, I wanted to get rid of you anyway, so I have my excuses there. All right, well, I lost one. There's just one for the death reel. Honestly, Ridey could probably kick his ass. I'm feeling dangerous. I feel like Ridey has just so... Let me just see your, 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 your stats here. What, what are your... Oh, no. No! I guess they're not that crazy. Maybe he's like a lot of HP. Not, not really. Why why was Joan doing no damage to my... <laughs> Never. Um, I think I'm actually going to be extremely careful here. I'm going to just use a potion just to make sure I don't lose this Pokemon. Because it has Sing. Okay, why are you critting me here? Come on. And Sing's helpful. Okay, and, I, and I'm missing two. So, I guess I'm just gonna full wipe here. That's two criticals! You can't do that! Also, I'm yelling a lot more than I thought I was going to. I was planning on like starting this off as like a whisper. Maybe like more of an ASMR stream? Not really, because I'm not streaming and it's not ASMR. I can't even run away, so I have to catch you. Can you, can you, can you get caught now? Are you sleeping? Nope. I guess I'll weaken you a little more. I actually, could I kill you? But you also did kill one of my team members, and I kind of want revenge. I kind of want to keep you. I'm like, I'm that kind of guy that's like, you kill my best Pokemon. I must have you. You're so strong. All right, is your last chance? Get in the ball. I will kill you. It's not a threat. It's a promise. All right. Well, goodbye, Ridey. It's okay. I, I honestly didn't care about you either. I, I, I like. I kind of liked you, but you weren't really that big of a deal. Johnny is where we got it. Johnny's our last hope. If we don't got, if we don't keep Johnny, then the, the game is lost. All right, just just, just bite him. I should have sent out Johnny to start at out, but then I did not expect two criticals. Okay, this game's already blowing my, my mind apparently. So uh, that's two deaths. Let me put them in the PC real quick. Because you know, you normally in Pokemon. You know, you don't actually lose your Pokemon when they, when they faint, but I am choosing to do so. So this is the death pile. Uh, I guess I'll put them in, like, in order as well. Can I fit death pile? I don't think so. 
I can fit death. good enough for me. Well, you will be missed. You will be missed by both my water Pokemons. Whatever. I can no longer use these types of Pokemon. Can I please leave? Okay. My, my, my controls right now are not, are not the most keen. Okay, so I definitely can't fight the rival now. I've lost my aces. Not my aces, but you know. It seems like this guy isn't doing too much damage. So, I'm just gonna keep on. No, don't talk to me. No, don't talk to me. Also, what is that item down there? Don't, don't, I don't care. All right, I'm just gonna speed through this. He, he just catches Pokemon and shows you, hey, you can catch Pokemon. Isn't that cool? I don't care. What I do need, and this is what I should have done before, you know, I I foolishly fought that level three Farfetch'd. I should have uh, stocked up on potions and stuff, but you know. Actually, I see, I was a fool for only buying five Pokeballs last time because if you buy 10 Pokeballs, oh, never mind, not in this game. Usually you get an extra one. Or, never mind. This game did not have that feature yet, I guess. I thought, I thought, I thought it did. Yeah. We're just gonna check out what the item over here is because it's random. Usually it's like a potion, I think. What are you? Oh, that's, that's, that's all right, that's cool. I actually used to keep, you guys don't care at all, but I used to keep my uh, other, like, basically I, I had a different rule set where I could use the same species of Pokemon, but I could not use the, I had to basically have undefeated Pokemon, was, was one of my runs. So I kept the, like, mothers and father, what the f Look, I really, really want him, but I feel like he's going to kill me. Okay, he flinched. I'm not going to take any freaking chances here. I'm just going to chuck this Ultra Ball at it and just, like, hope. Cross your fingers that this is, like, magic going to happen. Nope. Uh, yeah, no, it should not. It should not be, uh... Does that kill me? Okay. I thought it might one-shot me, but I guess not. Alright, just, just get out of here, dude. I want that Dragonite! But also, what's with the Dragon-type Pokemon at the beginning of the game? I, also, I, I didn't even think I could get, like, evolved stages of Pokemon. Not that I really even would want an evolved, like, Dragonite, because it's not going to have anything good. Probably if move wise, it's like it evolves to like level 50 something, but you know. Actually, is Vibrava a level 2 stage now that I'm thinking about it? Maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. But it, it, it looks strange to me at least. It looked like it didn't belong here. And also, I have no idea when this video is going to end. I guess maybe when I catch something else or die. We'll see. I'm gonna sit the hell away from this this uh, patch of grass, and I think I think if I go in here, I probably can't fight the rival. <sighs> I'll, all right. I'll chance it one more time. He didn't seem to be doing too much damage to me, so even if I find another one, okay, good. See, I was, I was hoping to find something else, and this is something else. I'm not sure what this is. Like this is from like Gen Four, I think. I have no idea what the this, this, this is. Splink. Sounds like something bad. Whatever, I'm not trying to actually kill them in a train off of them really, because I don't I do want to get Johnny like pretty high level, but I'm not trying to actually train right now. I'm just trying to catch something else so I can not know I just die on my last Pokemon here. Okay, I mean I'll try it, but I still don't trust it one bit. So, I guess it's Yeah, saying it's best because of the flinching for sure. So 
gonna get him low enough. I just still doubt he'll even have anything good. So, I mean, I'll, I'll go for it. Trying to like think if I can meta breed this guy or something. And the, okay, yeah, it, it shouldn't kill me. I'm just always unsure as to what the effect of Twister is. It's not like a static damage like Dragon Rage or anything, but I probably am not gonna catch this guy in a million years. So I should probably stop trying. Last time, last ball. Come on, baby. Come on. You know you went in there. Yeah, so remember what I was saying about catch rates and stuff? This guy's catch rate is definitely not good enough for me to just throw a Pokeball at him. He's like an endgame Pokemon, so I'm not surprised that I can't actually catch him. I want it though. I'll come back here. I like to come back here and just wait for a Dragonair or a Dratini. But yeah, but Splink's not good either. I only didn't want to go in here at first, because I'm pretty sure I can't fight with my rival now. I don't know how it works. Okay. So there's an item over here. Thank you. Anything? As, 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 oh, wait. No, it's not over here. It's, it's up here. Up higher. Wow. What an incredibly boring Pokemon to have in the forest. I'll take it. Oh, never mind. I'll crit it. Yeah, this Pokemon uh, moved two feet from where it used to belong. Alright, what do you got over here? Okay, come on. You want to see the item, but I guess you want to be like, look at me, I'm cute. And you are, but, you know. You're dead. Okay, where are you? Iron. I don't even know what iron does. I might just sell it for money. Base defense. Again, not that I wouldn't like that. I'm just thinking, just like when I was younger. Are you actually pulling my chain? I mean, I'm, I'm not like that surprised that Pokemon like this exists in the forest, but I didn't think I'm getting something so early. Like, I'm not gonna be able to catch this thing either. Am I dead? I keep like, thinking I'm, I'm a bug, so I'm like, is this gonna kill me in one shot? Okay, can I... Can I magically capture this Articuno? That'd be nice. Just, I, I, I want something else. I'm never gonna catch anything else. The good news is... You're not doing too much damage to me, so even though it's extremely low percent chance, I'll still just try it? That's gonna hurt me a lot, actually. Okay. I think I'm gonna kill you now, because I don't know what to do. I can't capture any of these Pokemon. They're all too strong for me to even dare. I don't know. I, they're not actually strong, so I was like struggling over saying the word strong, because they're not really strong. They're just legendary, and they're just very rare. But not in this game. I thought that they didn't swap legendary Pokemon out. I thought I'd change that option to be like legendary is sub legendary. So maybe I read it wrong. Dragonite was pretty cool. The Articuno was throwing me off. I'm like, if I'm finding Articuno now and this, you know, the, the Pokedex has more than just the original Pokemon in it, I can just like, run into like literally like anything? Like a Deoxys? I hope not, just because it's gonna kill me. It's crazy how much harder this game becomes when you just change what Pokemon you get. Because almost everything else is the same. I did, just for variance's sake, I did change the stats of Pokemon too, just to be like, hey, you know, everyone always says that this Pokemon is trash. It's like, oh, you know. Its attack stat isn't strong enough to, to make use of its attack moves, you know? That's why you can't use it, or it's not viable. Well, guess what? Now, the stats can be different, and maybe I can use the moves that I did, you know, couldn't use. I think people always said that, like, some of the, the rare fire Pokemon, like Entei and uh, Flareon or something like that, just don't have anything 
that they can even use that uses their stats the best. So, um, and again, I'm never gonna catch this thing, so there's no point even even mess with it. It's kind of taking me off a little bit that I'm finding these Pokemon, and I don't really want to fight the trainers to be honest. Like, I, I just don't care. I, I, I feel like I'm leveling up way faster than I ever normally do, and see, this is a classic example of like a level 5 Pokemon that I'm like, I need him! I need him! He's strong, look at him! Like, the way I take it, I'm like, if, if it's level 5, and you take one of my hits, I'm like, it, it earns it. It earns a spot in my team. Now this should be no problem. This should like just literally be caught in the first Pokeball since it's you know not hard to catch. It's not like a legendary Pokemon off the bat. So yeah, well, look at that. We have a pretty one now. Finally. I kind of want to get out of this forest. Oh, I should have named it. No. That's all right. Well, I guess we'll name it later. Okay, what's this? Escape rope? It's not bad. I'm just gonna get out of this Articuno infested place. I just, I can't believe that this high catch rate Pokemon, or is it higher? I don't know. Like, it's just the only Pokemon you can see. Like, even if, even if you catch one, even if you kill the rest, it's all that's in here. It's just Articuno. Time. Time to just be sad. Okay, let me just get out of this forest. Stop walking into Articunos, even though this is a classic level 5 that I feel compelled to fight. But I will not. Okay, there's also one down here, I think, right? Yeah. What are you? Are you like TM34? No. I'm not sure what TM34 would even be. I think they changed the the items like based on what game you're playing anyway. Now see, this is pretty cool. I I would like to have this. So if I can uh, if I can take you, it'd be nice. I definitely prefer this one over uh, the low tide I had. Okay, so just tell me that you're not actually impossible to catch. Okay, okay. I'm now starting to see the, the problem with um, Nuzlocke runs and randomizers if you don't lower certain things like how many Pokeballs it takes to catch Pokemon you're pretty screwed early game it seems just getting the ball I don't have two left I, I literally don't have money I don't even have money to buy more why can't you just get caught buddy I mean I'll, I'll do it man I'll do it there you go. Wow. I didn't have any faith to be honest, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I mean, this one has to be just named... I guess I'll just name him Locke, because his name is Nuz, Nuzleaf, and this is a Nuzlocke run. Was that where the the term came from? I'm not googling shit. Who cares? All right, I just got out of the forest now. I will have to fight some trainers, but you know, it's okay. Ponyta. Does that mean my sand tomb's actually useful? Oh God! Is this is gonna kill me. I like really need this Vibrava to live. 
Please don't kill me. Cause see, one other thing that I did, not knowing or not assuming that it'd be a problem, I actually did tweak the trainer levels to be slightly higher, I think, than usual, like by like 10%. So I'm like, this guy's got a level 10 Ponyta, is that normal? Like, I've only been fighting with Johnny, he's my strongest Pokemon, and it's still barely the level of this guy, this is random kid's Pokemon, so... I'm not, not feeling the greatest. This could be an uphill battle. Of course, the last square. I can't even catch you, whatever you are. Even though I definitely would try to, even though I probably would never catch a Sand Slash. Because, you know, the catch rate. I said catch rate when I was young. Anything else? And I've said a thousand times. I guess a thousand is a good number to use for, uh, for exaggeration. Okay, so we're gonna... We're gonna peek into the grass over here. Maybe, maybe fight Brock, and then definitely end it there. Uh, there's, there's no more, there's no more uh, fight in me right now. There's too pressure. I, I definitely do want to have an episode two, so definitely should uh, not die before then. Okay, so now this is where it's getting like bearable. This is where I'm not fighting literally Articuno and Dragonite. Just, just a splink. Oh, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Could a Dragonite be here? It's actually not good. I'd prefer not. And let me just see. What do you got? Okay, prevents recoil. Copies special ability. Oh, really? Uh -huh. oh, so that was my uh, my chair. In case you're wondering. All right. Um, pound harden. And what's your attack stat? Wait, actually, is bite still better here? Bite sixty, fanatic sixty, both the same. Okay, but this one flinches. Okay. Uh, wait, what was your stat again for? Yeah, so you definitely aren't very strong here. Okay. <sighs> Let's see what we can find. Actually, I <laughs> I meant to switch him with him. There we go. I do like having a balanced team with, you know, pretty even levels always. Okay, I'm glad it's a Splink again because Splink would definitely be is preferable to Dragonite. Wait, you you jerk! Me me okay, I guess it's not that bad, because it only has splash. I was like this guy is hurting me when I hurt him, but it doesn't matter because he's just splashing, and splash does nothing. It's the only Pokemon move in the entire game that does absolutely nothing. I'm pretty sure. It'd be cool if it had like a secret use, but there's just nothing it does at all. So. Just see if we can get Locke a little bit, a little bit stronger. Maybe give him another move. Okay, a lot of Splinks here, which is good because they can't do anything, I guess, besides hurt me with recoil, or not recoil, with, uh, with rough skin. Gotta spam the A button. Ah, this is a mistake, wasn't it? Just die. Nope, nope. Gotta, gotta wait one more. Gotta get that, that last extra damage in on me before, uh, before it dies. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else in this freaking patch of grass. Just don't be dragon ants. Please. Okay, cool. of course you are. Alright. Well. I literally can't catch anything else, it seems like. I don't really want to fight you. I just don't. 
Like, you're probably killable, but I don't feel comfortable doing it. Okay, so what can I do? I guess I could sell the iron for money. Get a couple potions, maybe. One thing I clearly won't be doing is uh, ever using or buying revives, because once they faint, they're gone. So... I, I don't have any intention on being like, well, they fainted, but I put them back with a revive. Alright, so I definitely need a couple potions. Wait, I have to sell stuff first. <laughs> Big mushroom? Where did that come from? Well, now I'm rich. I mean, I just let's just go ham. Why not? And I'll even take some of these. We're we're, we're investing, boys. Actually, I'll probably do a couple more of these. You never know. You never know. You know, I, I kind of think... kind of think it's going to be useful now. Repels? I don't have these repels either. I'm thinking like... In those Dragonite and Articuno forests where I just want to stay the hell away from them, it might actually be pretty nice. Okay. What's my task? I definitely am not training this Nidoran. Locke is not ready. I guess I'll just try peeking at the gym. See if they have anything crazy there. I actually am gonna save. Like, I'm not gonna count this. I'm just gonna save. I'm just I'm just checking to see what they have. I, I have honestly no idea of like how strong I have to be before I come here. So I'm just gonna bypass them and see how strong Brock is. Okay, let's, let's see what you got, buddy. I'm not like trying to s sneak peek at his Pokemon. I'm just not sure how strong he is, like what level he's at. So before I grind or whatever, let's just see. Okay, well he's got Blast Toys, like at level 13. It's not too bad. Okay, well, I'm just gonna hit the X button, but uh, you know. I, I hope you enjoyed or ever if you care enough to listen to stupid rambling shit. We'll get better. We'll get better as we go on, hopefully. Maybe. We'll see.